can get two of them and they can have their whole dance routine. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but no, okay, so I'm gathering up for the, the party token, I guess you call it. Mm hmm. Because we're back in town. Back in town. Oh my god. I, I should make a, a token that has all of us with party hats on it. <laughs> oh, gee, yes. uh, would you like to uh, stable your horse here while you go into the city? Might get a bit too busy for the horse. Uh, yeah, sure. Your horse is unstable. Ha ha ha! We shall now stabilize your horse. <laughs> <laughs> So you're gonna add stabilizers? You gonna jack it up too? Sorry. <laughs> no. Get a lift kit. No. Full hoof rotation. Just the rear end. Then it's a jackass. We we charge rather a lot to jack up our horses. I got it. As long as we don't find it up on blocks later. Um. <laughs> <sighs> So you head into town and get on the great clockwork elevator to, uh... uh Metal Gear! The water wheel powered elevator to descend into the, the main level of the city. Oh, god damn it. Our name is now the face of the party. Yay! Really? He looks more like, uh, Murdoch. <laughs> Excuse you. Excuse you. That's All the thing. Right, so... His face, he can be anyone he wants to be. <laughs> I could be Spider-Man. <laughs> Everybody gets one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I guess as we're kind of walking along, I guess back to the guild hall to report, I'd kind of whisper to people to remember that we agreed to, to not talk about the uh the air and I Hi Donkey <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god I had, I had this picture of us walking along and Toffee's dog is the one that just suddenly said hi doggy to another dog <laughs> in common <laughs> oh, My dog is suddenly it Tommy Wiseau <laughs> <laughs> I'd be a little worried. Suddenly your dog has like really long black shaggy hair. <laughs> yeah. I did not hear It's always her. always it's... greasy ah. for some reason. <coughs> Why does soap never work? Yeah. Tuffy's like I bathe this dog every freaking day and nothing helps. Maybe like the um uh, the God damn, what's the paint with the really shaggy dog on it? The shaggy oh, yeah. dog? No. Yeah, I don't matter. think we have that. Don't you? Okay. Should have you just throws down her armor and asks your dog to like roll around on it a little bit. Yeah, that works. Okay, good enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you head to the guild hall. Enter the guild hall. You are now in the guild hall. Oh. <laughs> oh God. You enter the guild hall and it's quite lively because it's uh, about two o'clock in the afternoon by this point. And as such, there's, like, some guys that are just playing while the lively music. Because as I said, it's basically like a, a guild-exclusive pub tavern in that thing. And it seems I'm that going... some of the, the Bard Guild have decided to swing by. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I recognized that music. <laughs> I'm going to roll a perception to see if we can see the red haired girl to see or if she's around? sure yeah see if she's around you know 
You do not spot anyone matching the description you were given. There is no <laughs> red head, red, red eyed, skinny, unhealthily looking. Well, not skinny to the point of looking unhealthy, pale skinned woman here. Because <coughs> yeah. it's quite yeah. like, even in the human forms, they still look a little spindly. <laughs> I'm gonna look around and see if I can see that magic user that was one of the fallen that we keep talking to. Well, yeah, I guess you go through to the, the fallen area of the game. Yeah. <laughs> can I find her? Yeah, she's, she's, uh, she's, uh, looking at a map at the moment. But she actually has, like, pinned to a wall, well, not, yeah, pinned to the wall in one of the side rooms of the fallen guild area. Okay, um, Tubby's gonna go up to her and say, um, hi, I had a question. I'm feeling really, really weak after I got poisoned, and I was wondering if you might know some magic that might help me. Oh, uh, I'm not a healer, dear. I, uh, my magic's more for harming than healing. Do, do we have one, maybe? Oh, I... Mm, do we have any clerics? Hmm. No, Duncan isn't even a paladin. He just likes to hold a religion. And, uh, I haven't seen Tobias in a while. What did happen? Well, maybe he settled down or died or something. Oh well. Well, thanks anyway. I'm sure you could go to the church or ask for any clerics out with the rest of the other guilds. Okay, she'll leave her alone. She goes back to look in the map. She's kind of just got like um, one, she's got one arm crossed and the other arm's elbow is like resting on her hand and her, her, her other hand is like raised to her chin. Tom will seek out uh, parchment, okay. no. ink, and a brush. You find these supplies. He will start writing in ninja language, which looks suspiciously like kanji. <laughs> Yes, suspiciously like. <laughs> <laughs> He's basically writing a report to his allies that he hasn't told anyone else about. Jerk. Oh, he'll tell the party eventually. He's just got to get to a point where he can. Uh... It's like, guys, I'm a ninja. And it was like, yeah, we know. <laughs> well, really? he kind of figures the party knows he's a ninja. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, there's things that he has to tell the party because he only trusts them and his other allies. Yeah, yeah, I know. Alright, so... He's guess, not about to reveal uh, that inside the guild. No. I guess I'd go um, try to find Duncan to report on what's going on. Uh, it's good to see you back. What did you find? Uh, spiders. spiders. The house had been overrun by spiders. Oh. We cleared them out, but unfortunately we did not get there in time to save him. Oh. Adam's dead then. Yes, I'm afraid so. Well, with no, no family to speak of, we'll have to send someone up to make sure his state is taken care of. And then he gets a proper aerial. This is, uh, well, I guess it's to be expected when someone goes quiet for so long. Yes, unfortunate. <laughs> well, I shouldn't inform the proper people. <sighs> Any news on the, um, the, oh god, what was he called? The guy we were looking for? Oh, the historian, no. We yes, the historian. We haven't found the crazy old coon yet. But, um, we have been looking into it, just not getting anywhere. 
They wouldn't exactly seem to know where he is, not even his apprentice. Hmm. Is this unusual for him? No. It's <laughs> perfectly normal for him. Ah, uh, that's kind of what I figured. He disappears, comes back, writes a few books, leaves again. <coughs> He's almost like George R. R. Martin that way. Or Mad Baggins. <laughs> um well I suppose for the meantime we shall uh continue on with I suppose the looking at the, the bounty board and maybe, you know a few other investigations. I if we find to... anything worth doing so. I really want to go to the market. Okay. Oh look. So, to the markets! Yay! Tom will change out of his adventuring clothes, place a few um, <laughs> extra strings on his armor when he sets it down. Oh, um... Hide up his katana so he can take it with him. And the letters, he's going to roll up, put into a hollow tube, cork up both ends, but put a couple of copper coins in to weigh it down before he corks up both ends. Mm -hmm. Now he's ready to go. Uh, Odin, for, for future reference, so I don't have to keep micromanaging it, um, would it be okay to just say that I have the, the winds around me like kicked up as we're traveling around, but in town or anywhere, I, I just have them toned down? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. It's It's finicky little things like that that I often just have for. Yeah, it's, I just don't want to have to keep remembering to do that on and off every single time. Because, <laughs> you know, it becomes obvious when you start walking around in town, as all the skirts that you pass just get lifted up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me, I dropped my nickel. <laughs> what the hell's a nickel? Smack Zephyrus. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my copper penis. No, no, you're supposed to make them stop on a dime. <laughs> well, let's make our way to the market. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the... No. Um. No. No. <laughs> no. No. This time, Tom has his katana disguised as a simple walking staff. You are looking down. <laughs> I Be am fair going, about it. I long go switched over to weapons while we're doing. So you're gonna make your way over to the market district. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Eh, decent enough. Are you stealthing away again? He'll drop the... Tom will drop the note container off into the river along the way. Oh, okay. Just rather nonchalantly. That's what the coins were for, to weigh it down. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to find the pet vendor. I knew it. You're all out of Pokeballs, aren't you? I am. I need more. <laughs> no, I want a parrot. You already have a pet. It's your familiar. You just need to remember it. No, I know Look, I have. You can't get another pet until you learn to take care of the one you have. I, I'm just <laughs> imagining this, this bird in his backpack just listening to him say, I need a pet, and just this one single tear drops down. <laughs> <laughs> No, I love my, my peacock equally. I just want a parrot that can also sit on my shoulder. And then your peacock leaves up onto your shoulder. Oh, it can <laughs> it can get on my shoulder. It's it's. But can you way teach the big. peacock to say pieces of eight? <laughs> it's it's a bit big to sit on your shoulder comfortably, but it tries nonetheless. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, I don't know why, but I just do it like a, like, like a kazooie. Just like the peacock's head pokes out the backpack and pecks uh -huh. in the back of the head. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> I'm going to um, look at him and be like, Alright, listen, I love you a lot. And I'm sorry that I haven't really paid attention to you lately, but I will start. And then I pet it on the head. It fruffs up and spreads its, like, fans out its tail and lifts its head up high and sort of just like, hm, as you should. <laughs> Excuse you! <laughs> it doesn't really say anything, but it's just kind of like how it's, it's, it's acting. It's sort of like... <laughs> well then, I am a sassy peacock. It's wow. Like, it's like, finally, you've been ignoring me for... Well, you kind of ignored me since we jumped out of a fucking dragon. <laughs> <laughs> So well, sorry if I'm a bit moody with you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I go and I find I I, I still want to find the pet vendor just because I want to get some pet food. That's like some really nice pet food for my familiar. Okay. All right. Uh, it's quite obvious where the pet vendor is because of all the scorking and barking going on. Let's see another. So he goes to buy some bird seed to buy to grow himself a new one. <laughs> well, I I want to buy some really like top quality nice pet food so that as like an apology to my l little peacock. Yes, I'm going to apologize to your peacock <laughs> <laughs> and spend an hour every morning concentrating on your staff. <laughs> Suddenly, I'm reminded of a Randy of a Rodney Carradine's Garrison song. All right. Well, while we're at the market, I figure I may as well go look for a, a weapon vendor and try to pick up uh, a few more arrows for practice. Okay. I actually, hopefully, if this works this time, I, there's this cool website that I was linked to ages ago that can actually like just generate what shops have, like randomly, <laughs> according to Pathfinder and other rules. But it doesn't look like it's working still. Oh. Hey, your pings. Everything else is working, but not the dungeon. Don't play in the sh. I assume they'd have arrows. <laughs> well, yeah, they can have arrows. It just reminded me that that was a cool tool. <clears throat> I know what I'll do. Uh. Okay. So you head to the weapon vendor. What do you what are you looking for there? Just arrows, you said? Uh at the moment just arrows. Okay. Well he sells you arrows good. at the standard rate. That's not something right, you bother hag hag haggling with because people yeah. buy so many of them. I think I can pick up ten for half a gold. Five silver, yeah. Yeah, five silver. So yeah, I'll I'll pick up ten for five silver. So I'll change my silver properly and change my arrow count. And wait. Okay, well. There we are. You head... Might as well browser. No, go ahead. Yep, okay. You, uh, Aaron M, you head to the pet store. Well, the pet stand. <laughs> Hello. Oh, yeah. So is this guy was just like blankly staring at a rabbit that was just sitting on the counter. And then he like <laughs> just takes her and goes, "Huh? Oh, um, hello. Yes. Um, do you happen to sell some like really high quality um bird seed? Uh, why well, yes, yes, well I do. Now where did I?"
We're, pre we're pretty much like doing stuff to finish round off the session at this point. Uh, ah, here it is. It's a golden bag, though. Um, how many bags of it do you have? Uh, I wonder what this one crate of it. I've got five out of the six that were in it. Okay, um, and how long will each, um, one last? Is, like, is it one bag per day, or...? No, oh, each, <laughs> each bag will last you a good week or two, depending on how generous you are. Or the size of the bag okay. as well. Alright, well, I would like to buy five bags of this, please. <laughs> Alright, yes. Uh, he just grabs the crate and puts it on the counter. <laughs> <laughs> and there's, there's five bags, they're uh, like a couple of pounds each. Alright. So that would be um, that would be literally ten pounds for this crate of high quality <laughs> seed. That's okay with me. You have ten pounds that you can carry? <laughs> I think I do, I'm not carrying all that much. True, but you also don't have that much strength. Yeah, I think that I have enough, let's see. Well, what's your current load and your light load? Be the easiest way to figure it out. Uh, let's see. My light load is forty-four, <clears throat> and oh, I'm carrying forty-one pounds right now. Never mind. Um, so I mean, you you could get to a medium load. It would just slow you down a bit, and your dex, your uh, max dex bonus would go down. Yeah, um, I'll only take, I'll take one bag for now, actually, because thinking about it, I only need one bag, and then after two weeks when it runs out, I'll get another one. It's like, oh, oh, sorry, okay, you slowly yeah, yeah. take the crate so, back. Well, I, I will still, I'll leave, I'll give him, like, three gold, though, just, you know, to be kind for my, uh, Wrong doing. Your indecisiveness. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, well, thank you very much. I uh, I uh, swings by for uh, any of it. It should still have plenty by the time you need some more. And All right. He leaves you this uh, this very dense filled sack that's about. Like, you know the sacks they put coffee beans in, in adverts and stuff? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's about Those are burlap there. sacks. Yeah. But I'm just saying, rather than a big potato-sized sacks, it's the, the more medium-sized sacks. Mm-hmm. He can count to potato! <laughs> oh man, if he'd gotten all five of them, we could have had a sack race. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Rolling my eyes currently. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, after I get this bird seed, I hold out a handful for my little, for my peacock. He looks at you, kind of looks at the seed, looks at you, and starts eating. <laughs> <laughs> I bought this especially for you, it's some of the highest quality they have. He kind of, like, picks up one seed, spends a bit of time on it. Kind of gives a little <laughs> nod and starts eating the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> Out of curiosity, um, what's what's your XP total, Kiki? My current XP. Yeah. Uh, twenty nine fifty. Thank you. Want to make sure I was up to date. Okay. I know you should have the same as me. <clears throat> Oh, I guess at the uh, the weapon vendor, while I'm there, I'll ask um, how much a uh, um, a composite longbow for uh, one strength or for a uh, plus one strength would cost, or how much it would cost to possibly change the longbow I have into one of those. So basically, you're upgrading to an eighty-pound longbow. <laughs> What, it's an 80 pound draw. Oh, that's what you mean. Yeah. That's oh. what they mean when they assign a weight to a bow. 
That's how well, many clearly I takes. don't know oh, much oh, about God. bows. <laughs> okay, now you know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe! You know what the other half of the battle is, right? Cussing? Um, the battle part of it? Violence. <laughs> ah! <laughs> well... Uh, the... The... The Elven Fletcher looks to you. I'm going, oh, bows. I'll take over this, Marv. Because the more brutish looking guy who's at the store just kind of just steps to one side and starts dealing with other customers when he steps up. And so just goes, right. You're looking for a composite longbow, eh? Well, the whole idea behind a composite longbow is that you have to make it from scratch. I can't exactly upgrade your longbow to a composite one. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Constructed differently, but uh, as for the well, power behind it depends on how strong you are and how thick a string you can handle. Well, I can handle a, a fairly strong bow, I would imagine. Unfortunately, I imagine they start costing more as well. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's gonna hurt a lot more, but. You know, the investment's worth it in terms of uh, your how battles and your hunts go and how quickly your enemies drop before they run you through. Uh, well, how much how much damage would it deal to my uh, my wallet to get one that would be and I, I can't really think of a good way to say this like in character since it's yeah. game mechanics he, he brings out would be... he goes hold on a sec and he gets this like piece of wood that has the various different uh, weight loads and string thickness that they have mm -hmm. and he goes alright it's like look it's like okay just start from the left and tell me which one is too much and which one feels comfortable, if not, maybe just needs a bit of effort to pull back. Alright, so as I'm going along, I, the, uh, the, the plus three one would be where I'm just able to do it, and then uh, the plus four one is like, nope, can't do that one. Okay. Out of character, the maximum you can get from a composite bow without training wheels is 120 pounds. Mm -hmm. And that would be 18 strength to draw that fucker back. <laughs> Alright, well. Looks like you're uh, uh, pretty strong. It's uh like, I mean, starting from here, you've got, well, just a, a basic composite longbow with a standard string. And then working your way up, you've managed to make it to, uh, I guess if they're including the zero, the fourth one along out of six. Uh, so that would cost you... Yeah, what's that? I've got to make this string, got to make the boat strong enough to be able to pull back. Much probably cost about 400 gold. Ooh, ooh, that's that's a bit out of my price range at the moment. Well, depending on the thickness of the string, it basically goes down a hundred each step. Well, I think for right now, I'm best off using the longbow. And then coming back when I have a bit more money to get one that uh, will give me the most uh, oomph from it. Yeah, I mean, you can always just get a composite longbow and then just upgrade the strings later. Uh, That's if you're not doing so big a jump between strength that you might need a. Uh, what do they call the actual body of the bow? I mean, the only way to get more powerful than a composite longbow would be to go crossbow. Which is funny that that's not true in uh, Pathfinder. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. 
Yeah, so a good solid composite longbow uh, with a standard string is 100. Mm. And if you want to start off just with uh, a little bit of a thicker string, it'll be 200. No, no, I think I think I'll uh, I'll wait for the moment. I have my longbow; it should service me well for the moment. All right. Well, we're always here whenever you need something a little bit more oak, as you said. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for your time. All right. You're welcome. He puts the little string test box back. Oh God. Who's calling? Avon calling. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Tom really doesn't have much to do. He's just kind of window shopping. And I really doubt they have any of the kind of weapons or equipment that he could use. Yeah, um, once the peacock has finished eating, it kind of fans its tail and pulls its wings up and looks happy. Well, I'm glad. Um, Maybe you could let it out of the backpack for a little while, let it walk around some. Oh yeah, I mean, absolutely. <laughs> I, I imagine him just walking around anyway, but I don't know. I forgot that we had set that up. <laughs> He's like Pikachu in yellow. <laughs> peacock, 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 peacock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna let him wander a little bit, and as long as he stays close to me, he's kind of free to do whatever he wants within, you know, acceptable limits. Yeah. Pokes the paladin in the butt. <laughs> I I ordered him to do that. Sorry. In full plate. <laughs> You're not even mad. <laughs> he's just like he just like likes the sound of it and starts just tapping the plate. <laughs> Poor Jen, having her ass tinks. Tell you the paladin is an it's an unwilling drum set. Suddenly the peacock notices that the different parts of the armor actually make different tones. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, My peacock is actually very um, performance um, heavy, so. <laughs> yes. Music. Your cock has performance issues. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> no. Bad. <laughs> All right. Is and it... he's been hiding his peacock in his sack. I want to smack you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's like a question. I want to smack you? Is that... Is that a question? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, do you need to head off soon, Randy? Cause we can uh, it up. Yeah, I've got to go eat and stuff, too, so... Alright. All right, well, hopefully, hopefully soon, Tom will be able to inform the rest of the party about things. Yeah. So I guess you head back to the guild hall and just rest up for the night? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds good. Good, so can I finally get rid of this stupid minus on my sheet? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, by the way, Kiki, those thieves tools that Tom let you keep are a pound. Okay. So now you kind of have two sets of thieves tools. Yeah? Yeah. One of them's got attitude and moving parts <laughs> although his attitude is I got snippy things look at them go Kiki can, Kiki can take down two traps at once that would take some uh, extreme like coordination and dexterity that control the spider and take down the strap. yeah like be using the spider's remote with one hand yes and then trying to disarm the other trap with one with hand with the other hand <laughs> <laughs> well, remember, doesn't she have a tail? No. I don't think it's... Aww. It kind of no, should, it's, I don't think it's, it's prehensile. It's, it's, it's totally... No, she's totally human from the neck down. It's just oh, her okay. head that's a ferret. Yeah. She's an Amazonian woman from the neck down. That's what that's what the, the race description says. They're like, women are Amazonian in stature and 
men are like always sculpted Hercules type figures. Hercules, Hercules. And she's and she's got the cutest face. Yes. She has la face de cute. She's built like an anime character with the cutest little face ever. So an anime character. No. Get out. Oh, uh, uh, well, she's strained more towards normal anime rather than the other kind. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, so should we wrap this up then? Uh, yeah. 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 Sounds good yeah. to me. All right, well, thank you for watching with the live recorded. This has been on every day in Game Mastering, Pathfinder, Dragonfall. And we shall see you next week. Or we will just... You will just be watching the video, I suppose. <laughs> Watch the thing. Do it. Do it now. Well, maybe not now. I mean... You do the chopper. No. <laughs> oh, my God. Your chopper's over there where you left it. When you were cutting up the meat. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. Goodbye. <laughs>